Bitcoin um, is a bit like uh, the other markets. I mean, Bitcoin was when Bitcoin was very small in size and you know in value. It was like maybe not following an Elliott wave, but now it's getting bigger, and there are more people involved in Bitcoin. It's more likely to follow an Elliott wave pattern. An Elliott wave analysis. Uh, we can uh, apply uh, Elliott wave analysis to Bitcoin. And if I look at the current move, um, I, I'm not surprised because uh, in terms of uh, Elliott wave, the market moves up in five waves. So I've got wave five at the top here. I think it's a five. Wave. It's a fifth wave. And then what we get is a correction, and that correction is in three waves, and we label it A, B, and C. So that's what Bitcoin is doing right now. And uh, the first one, wave A, that one is a, what we call an impulse wave, and it is, it is, a, you know, if you if you zoom in on that wave, on, on say this is like a four hour chart, but if we go to a one hour chart or thirty minute chart, there are five waves inside that wave A. So what we got, we got wave B, and wave B is in three waves, and you can see clearly three waves up. Okay, so that is a very clear uh, wave B, B in bracket. And then after B, we get another decline for wave C. And wave C is an impulse wave, which is in five waves, one, two, three, four, and five. So I think uh, that Bitcoin will do another, will, will, will go lower uh, to complete uh, the fifth wave inside wave C. And at, uh, Basically, after uh, wave C, uh, I don't know where it will, it will end, but uh, probably around, uh, I would say around uh, maybe 26, 800, something like that. And then after this uh, uh, final move down, uh, Bitcoin should move higher, should rally again to new high. Okay, and that is the uh, current Elliott Wave analysis on Bitcoin.